Hey guys, it's 12.07 in the afternoon and I just got home from Chicago. I didn't vlog this morning because as soon as I woke up, we kind of went on the road so we can get home as quickly as possible. Um, so to give you a quick update, I'm almost done with my audiobook. I'll get that done very quickly and I'm going to spend as much time as I possibly can reading. I'm number four. I'm about a quarter of the way through it, um, maybe almost a third of the way, almost. Um, so I, I have a good chunk of it done, so hopefully as the story picks up, I will be able to read it quicker. I'll, I'll get that done. Um, but for now, I'm going to do the video challenge for today, day seven, last day, woohoo! Um, and the video challenge is to talk about the best book recommendation you've ever had. Now. The thing, the thing to know about me is when I was in middle school, I didn't have a lot of friends and that's because I didn't really connect with people and I didn't care that I didn't connect with people as much. Like, my lunch plan was to eat lunch and then go to the library as quickly as possible so I could sit there and read, maybe have a conversation with the librarian. And I was like best friends with my librarians. If it was the first Wednesday of the month, that means we had Classics Club, which is um, me, the librarian, and a couple other kids would have lunch together and the librarians would bring a ton of snacks and we would talk about books that we read, but they would have to be classic books. So like I grew up um, reading The Little House on the Prairie with my mom, so I talked about that a lot and I read like The Secret Garden and Around the World in 80 Days. and. All kinds of things like that and so obviously I got a lot of book recommendations from there but I think the best recommend book recommendation I ever got was from a girl named Lily who looks very similar to me actually we both went to the same dance Academy and we were both kind of shy but we didn't and we both didn't really have a lot of friends but in one of our tap dances, we were paired up together to do a little partnering section. Um, and she just couldn't get it. Um, it was hard for her, and I completely understand, because it's really not the easiest thing to do. Um, so she actually invited me over to her house one day to practice. Um, and instead of practicing, we just kind of talked and got to know each other. And she recommended to me the Septimus Heap series. So that's the first book is Magic, spelled M-A-G-Y-K, by Angie Sage. And now I was like shocked and really happy that my dance friend also loved reading. I was like, whoa, yeah, that's great. That's so cool. Um, but the thing is, is like that book recommendation, I went home, I got it from the library, I read it, and that was actually the first book I bought on my Kindle because I loved it so much. It was just so creative and imaginative. Um, but really what it did for me was it allowed me to talk with Lily and get to know her. And like I said, we were like young middle school. So we like played games around it and played pretend about it. Like that's the kind of magic we did and stuff like that. And so we like reenacted the book together and that is I think what sparked our friendship and I'm still friends with her today she actually got me one of the jobs that I'm working at this summer um, so that book recommendation was a life changer for me not just because of the book itself but also what it did to me like as a human being um, and that ultimately led to figuring out how to make friends and how to connect with people through books and hey now I'm on booktube trying to do the same thing so if it weren't for that who knows maybe I'd still be on the shadows just huddled up in the corner and being like book. um but yeah so that's probably the most important book recommendation I ever got and I have read and I kept reading all those books like I didn't just stop at the first one like I do with a lot of series um I read the entire thing and it it was just great it also just Kind of opened my mind to magical worlds outside of Harry Potter because <laughs> I survived off of Harry Potter in middle school so having something different definitely opened my mind to new possibilities and new ideas so that's probably the best recommend book recommendation I ever received um so yeah I'm very curious about your guys's and how that all went so 
comment below what yours were like.